Hello YouTubers and YouTubies, North Coast T here. Today we're going to be working on the 2006 Cadillac CTS. More specifically, this driver's seat. So, as you can see, all torn up. So what we need to do is replace it. Uh, you'll need a 10 millimeter socket, ratchet, uh, deep well socket is what you need, and then uh, probably a little flat blade. It'll help unplugging all the uh, connectors underneath there. There's more connectors underneath this seat than the space shuttle has. So right up underneath the front here, on either side in the tracks you're going to find a stud sticking down with a 10 millimeter nut on it and that's where you want to start taking those off I've already uh, yanked one out of the junkyard because I couldn't find a video on how to do it so I did it for you so this is what you're looking for there's a stud here right on the track in the front you want to take off the 10 millimeter nut there and a 10 millimeter nut there in the front. In the back, it's pretty sweet. Just kind of hooks under. So as soon as you take off those two, you can lift the front of the seat and then pull it out a little bit. But you definitely got to get all these connectors out. Got a connector here, which um, is not the easiest one. You got a connector here, connector here, connector here, connector here. Uh, you have another one coming from the seat warmer, which you don't see here because I already pulled the cover off. Uh, if this had smeller vision, you would know why I'm not using this base. Um, this one came out of the junkyard out of a flood car, and it really smells like it. It's funkier than 19 yards of chitlins. So. The last plug to get out is for the uh, power switch assembly over here. And they really made this one difficult on you. So you have leather that goes around here and covers here a little bit. So you got to uh, unlatch the front of the cover, pull it down, and then down inside here you need a uh, flat blade. Down inside there and press the button and then you can kind of work it out. Um, I couldn't do it. I ended up just cutting the wire in the junkyard. And then uh, you have this whole assembly um, you may end up having to take out first. But I just cut the wire off, brought it home, decided to work on it there. So, which you'll need maybe even two flat blades. Stick a flat blade in here, press the plug in. And then maybe a little flat blade here to kind of work it out and uh, see if you can get it out. If not, you have to take, there's a button here and a button cover here. Um, kind of gently pry on them with your flat blade, pop those off. Um, then there's a plastic cover that is stuck through there and it mounts through these holes here. Cover here and it sits on there like so and these little metal uh, clips on the plastic puncture right through those holes now the problem is um, you can't see the other two there's two more on the bottom and you cannot see them so you got to just gently keep prying until it pops through get that off then you can take these two bolts off then this will swivel out and pull out and then you can unplug it. So, yeah, it's not, uh, not fun at all. Now if you're lucky enough to only be re replacing the cover, this is the clip kind of slides over this piece here. You've got to stick a screwdriver in here and kind of pry it off. That clip comes off. When the seat cover's on, this and this are together, 
clipped in the middle. You unclip those and then you have the front has the same as that one in the back, the white plastic kind of wraps around in the front. So you pry that off. You really don't need to take um, the switch assembly out if all you're doing is taking the cover. I looked online, these covers were $120 for leather seat covers, the replacements. And that's on eBay, that's not even new. So um, mine is all torn up, so I just want the cover. This foam smells like um, it's been at the bottom of a lake uh, for about, I don't know, a month or two. So I don't want to use this foam. I'm afraid when you turn on the heater, it's going to uh, start to smell. Now you have some cords here, um, I've already taken them out, that you just got to unplug them, that's all for your uh, seat heater. And I'll show you what that looks like. These cords here are going to your heated seats and they're fed through the holes in the seat. So you have one here have a couple here in the back of the seat. Um, as you're lifting the cover off, um, you're going to have to feed those wires through those holes from the bottom. Also, this is kind of like a, almost like a Velcro um, that's here on the cushion, and that actually holds into this here. It's kind of like a generic Velcro-ish. There's a piece I'll show you. Kind of hook and loop want to be velcro there's a piece of it and that's what actually holds the cover onto the seat so this one tore off as it was coming off so but like I said I'm not using this cushion uh, looks fine but it smells horrendous so there's your cover and now I'm gonna clean this one up and then I'm going to yank the other uh, seat bottom out of the Cadillac. And then if I come across anything else, I'll show you that as I'm going. Okay, a few things you want to pay attention to as you get uh, under the seat. I removed um, the cover and replaced it without ever removing the whole seat bottom uh, in the car because of this uh, plug here. Um, I was having a hard time. I did unplug everything else, but the hardest thing was trying to get to this plug. I didn't want to remove the whole switch assembly and all that. And you can actually replace all this uh, while it's in the car. This foam will peel off with the cover attached to it. And I found that to be pretty uh, the easiest way to do it. I did still unbolt the two 10 millimeter nuts here, and I did unplug all of this here and all this just to give me range of motion for the seat um, if your seat for whatever reason you can't uh, get it all the way out um, you can do it with the base still in the car um, I left this attached the whole entire time I just disconnected all these just to give me enough mobile room but what you're looking for in the seat bottom is this cord here and these three plugs here, um, this one just plugs in to one of these back. This is all for the seat warmer if you have one. If you don't, you don't even have to worry about this. You could just switch out the cover and be done with it. But mine has the seat warmers in it. So uh, this one here kind of came out from underneath here and went back and then plugged into this one here and then this one um, plugs in um, underneath the seat this one here plugs in over here now on these they're kind of easy to get to um, with your flat blade screwdriver as you you know unbolt here and lift the front of the seat you can kind of wedge your screwdriver in there and get them out just by depressing the little buttons here. Uh, these are much harder. This one here, this one here, 
you need to pry out on these little sides to release the plug. This one here is right on top. You depress here and it slides out. And this one here they put on against the seat bottom here to do it. So it is kind of difficult um, doing it with everything in the car. But like I said, I didn't want to remove the whole switch assembly and and so I just marked them with a marker so you know which ones went to what. I don't think it matters which one this plugs into, this one or this one. I don't think it matters as long as it has connection and this one goes to your controller box. Job completed. Everything's tucked. Looks just like it did. I mean, it's still worn. It's got the wear marks in it and everything, but it's not all torn to shreds and looks way better. Thanks for checking out my video. Hope you have a good day.